Okay, this is kind of a revisit of an experiment I did years and years and years ago that Slider saw, where I was working with a Dr. Stifler sec exciter, running a signal down uh, one wire, a little fine uh, 30 gauge wire, and lighting up uh, LEDs at the end of the hall there. And this is uh, what I've got here is my um, crystal oscillator right here, which is not a sec exciter, it's a crystal oscillator, runs at 13.56 megahertz. Sends a signal into this uh, L3 type of coil, which sets up this weird thing going on here. And if I do this um, ferrite rod just right, I can get those LEDs to light up down there in resonance. And that's running on this um, very fine one wire down the hallway here. All the way down to the... Um, it's going into an AV plug here. And then I've got that just hooked up to the virtual ground. If I touch this, I get more light. In other words, I'm adding to the ground. But uh, this was an experiment I did years and years ago that uh, Slider saw. And he mentioned it, uh, that it was one of the first things he'd seen me do, do with the, uh, uh, a, sec, a very simple sec exciter that I'd built up. And so I thought I would revisit it uh, for this crystal oscillator. And it does work. You see how high a voltage I'm running that thing at to be able to pump that signal down that wire. Um, this on this thing right here is critical. If I don't have this just right, it goes out. It has to be just exactly in resonance for that to come on. And this thing here was part of it too. And this is this, uh, it's an identical coil to that L3 with a couple of AV plugs on each end. One one way, one another, and four LEDs on that prototype board. And you can see the light is out. Until I get this thing in there, the light doesn't come on, it goes out. And so there's some sort of a dynamic going on here that uh, I'm not exactly sure what's happening. And Dr. Stifler's last experiment that he's working with are three coils. And I'm just wondering if there's something going on with a three coil type of system that I don't have a clue about. Some of the other people don't have clues about. But when I saw this happening, I thought I'd better do a video and show that uh, by playing around with this third coil here, I can do some interesting things running down one wire. And like I say, this is a 30 gauge wire um, that runs down the length of the hallway, I don't know, 10 feet maybe. And this is a replication of an experiment I did years and years ago. Now, only this time uh, using a crystal oscillator instead of a sec exciter. Thanks for watching.